Greetings everyone. Uh, I'm Ravindran Jodi and I'm here to present my progress presentation and this is my topic toxicity effect of palm oil milk effluent on fish larvae development. And basically we know that palm oil is economically important to our country and the palm oil were used to produce skincare products, food products and cooking oil. During the production the factory also produces palm oil milk effluent, also known as a waste. And this undergoes a treatment to purif purify the palm oil milk effluent, and then it will be released to the river bank. And this is my problem statement. Okay, palm oil milk effluent causes harm to organism, stated by Ukwete and Bishu. And it also causes water pollution, also stated by Enjoku and it also less study on the toxicity test. Uh, basically, we know that uh, the palm oil the effluent, which is released from the factory, will be undergo anaerobic ponding system, which is treatment method, purify the palm oil the effluent. And from the 100% of the raw palm oil the effluent, from that, um, after the purification, 5 to 25% of palm oil the effluent were released to the waterways, but still giving uh, impact, which is stated by M. Halim Shah. Uh, this is how it looks like ponding system of palm oil milk effluent. And this is my signification of a study. Base, baseline study and not been studied widely. And next, it may assist the future decision related to the palm oil milk effluent, which is as, also known as waste. And this is my objective to determine the LC40 value of palm oil milk effluent on fish larvae development. And my second objective is to observe the effect of the palm oil milk effluent on the fish larvae development. And this is my methodology. Start up with sample collection and then continue with egg harvesting of climbing perch and then preparation of toxicity sample and continue with toxicity test and then end up with exposure study. Okay, the sample collection of palm oil milk effluent were collected at Kilang Sungai Kilang Sawi Sungai Tong, which is located at Sudiu. Okay, this is the egg harvesting of climbing birds. This is the model, model organism that I've been used for my research, climbing coach, analyst testing unions. And according to the program, that is the formula that has been used to calculate the amount of hormone that need to be injected. This is the hormone that has been used and this is the picture that uh, took during the injection process. And once the fish is injected, the fish will place uh, the fish will place into the into tank, which is divided into uh, two tanks, tank A and tank B. Uh, each tank will have two male and one female. And the, net, the water in the tank will uh, dechlorinated and maintain in its tank, uh, condition, which is the temperature need to be 27. Uh, oxygen saturation need to be more than 80 percent, and pH value need to, need to be in the neutral. After the 10 to 17 hours, the fish lay eggs, and the fertilized egg will be collected. And in that picture, we can see that white spotted. In, in the beaker, that is the fertilized egg which is collected from the tank once the spawning process is done. This, and this is the preparation of toxicity sample. So basically, uh, we did uh, six concentration, including the control. Uh, the foam was weighted and calculated to obtain the different concentration through the simple dilution, which is we use MP1 equals to MP2. And this is the preparation of the toxicity sample. As I mentioned earlier, the 200 ml of distilled water was prepared and mixed with the palm oil milk effluent into six different concentrations, including the, including the control. This is the picture uh, took during transferring fertilized fish egg from aquarium tank to a beaker for exposure. Next is a toxicity test. 30 embryos were placed into every 250 ml beaker. And the embryos was the survived larvae were transferred to the clean water. 
And this W will have observed each day once for three days continuously after 24 hours observation. And this is the result that I get from my experiment. Okay. This three picture based on the different type of date and deformed embryos during the toxicity test. So we can see that the picture A shows the coagulated uh, of embryo which is after 4 hours in 100 gram per litre uh, concentration. The picture B shows about uh, shows that coagulated and burst embryo after 4 hours in 100 gram per litre. And picture C shows that deformed before hatch and heartbeat stop after 16 hours in 100 gram per litre. So that we can see that the, the embryo, uh, the fish larvae already formed. And this is the egg yolk. Uh, next, the comparison of fish larvae after 24 hours. The picture A shows the, the normal fish larvae that is taken from the control. And the picture B, C, D is taken from the deformed embryo, uh, deformed larvae, which is from 100 gram per liter of concentration. The picture E is the deformed fish larvae from uh, 10 gram per liter. Okay, so that we can see that uh, I already labeled the the deformed part of the emera, uh, the, the larvae. So one, two, three, four. So it is referred to the defective formation of the tail for one. Um, two is altered axial curvature and deformed cephalic region. The third is rate of the heartbeat slow, and the fourth is unabsorbed and hypertrophy. Yorkshire. And this achieves my objective, second objective. Uh, to justify that result, I have, I have collected, uh, I have observed the result and interpreted the data, the data of mortality against the exposure. So basically, we can see that as the exposure of the farmer and the affluent increases, the mortality also decreases. Okay, from here we can see that the blue line graph is the blue, blue line graph is made from the data that I have interpreted, and the red dotted graph is the best fitted for the data, which is the, which is from the system. So, uh, so from here we can see that it is increasing the mortality. So from the graph, we had an equation. So from the equation, we can uh, uh, we can identify which is the LC50, the exact LC50 for the, for the graph. So when we substitute the 50 for Y, uh, the X will be 0 0.089. So the LC50 for palm oil mill effluent toxicity towards the anabestress to the embryo is 0. 0.089 gram per liter. Uh, this is my future work. Uh, another experiment needed to be conducted. First, the, the experiment needed to be, the control part needed to be less than 20%. As I mentioned earlier, for my for my result, I can, uh, I can show that the result of my control is 20%, exactly 20%. So it, it should be needed. Uh, it should be less than 20. Second, it needs to be the clear image of the embryo. So the, for the normal part, for the normal part, which is the picture A, the position of the fish is is, is a straight up. It needed to be in the side way. Third one is the accurate data. So as we see that, it is increasing until the 0 0.01 and then it is increased drastically 0 0.10, 70 and then it is decreased to 56.67. So uh, that the 70 percent of mortality on 0 0.01 is, is because of the wrong handling of the fish embryo. So after the experiment for my future work done, 